tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a pyramid pattern design in Photoshop CC 2014. Now, first thing to do, just going to create some guides. So I'm just going to go to View and New Guide Layout. So I can set the number of columns. I've got two and two because what I want is the guides to go along there and there and to the center and obviously the other way as well. Click OK. Now go to a view and snap and snap to and guides. That's been set. So now just go over here to the pen tool. With the pen tool just go over here, click there. Now I'm just going to quickly go through clicking all the corners so I'll just create that and there so that's one triangle. Now just go over here, click there, there, there and there. Now go over to this one, just go around the, so they're all in order and they're all the same colour at the moment. So I'll just go over that side and click there and there. So right, once you've done that, just come off there. You can actually see it's all solid. And But you can go over here to the Layers palette and you can actually change now the colors for those. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over to the Rectangle tool and you'll now see the Fill option there. Just come, come up. So I'm going to make that blue. Make that a darker blue. And that one's slightly lighter blue again, but slightly different from the other one. And keep the other one the same. Now, once you've done that, of course, you can just go to a layer and flatten image, edit and define pattern. Click OK. Now I'm going to layer and new fill layer pattern. Click OK. What you can do then, of course, is you can actually modify the scale. So you can make it 10 and you can see the various pyramids. So you can flatten that and then maybe use adjustment like hue and saturation. So you can just modify the color. And of course, what you can do, you can actually modify the color. So when instead of having like a gray, all greens, you can actually go for red, blue, yellow, etc. And then just define that as well as a pattern. Hope you found this of interest.